because it really is the trench the kneecap but your gluteus maximus uh, i'm sorry your, your deep six muscles inside the butt underneath yeah. it well, turns everything this way yeah i feel like my head's rotating mm -hmm. She still has to go to court like several times. She's already been, uh, she lost her business, they foreclosed, everything. Oh my god, we didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And then her husband was into, I think he got her into a lot of stuff. She probably didn't have anything to do with it, it's just very guilty by association. Yeah. Was it her, like the one she divorced or the other, the new one? That's a good question. I, don't know. I, don't I didn't keep up with any of this. Like, I didn't know, <laughs> I just thought that was like, bye. <laughs> I forget her name. Um, oh my goodness. It wasn't Pamela, right? It was Paula. Like Paula. Yeah. Yes. You're so she was right. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. And it's not like I had bad blood against her or anything like that, but yeah, she's not to screw over a lot of people. Yeah. It was very high turnover rate. She had really good. Um, front desk staff to the back rooms or back office where they're doing finances and she yeah. knows everybody. Yeah, because she was just mean to everyone. Like, honestly, oh, that's the, that was the worst part. Like, you mm -hmm. just don't have to be mean to the people that work for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, she had really good people, like, watching out for her and her best interests. Yeah. And she screwed herself over. I remember starting massage school literally on the same road, right down the street, 803 West Broad Street, uh -huh. same street and everything. She, we're just uh, two blocks forward, it's a big building. Um, I remember when she just opened, she was upstairs instead of being on the bottom floor. Yes, I remember that. Mm -hmm. I, was like, I remember when you just started, because you were passing on free flyers, free you know, sessions, yeah. and I was in school, that was like 2005, oh, wow. I think. And she only had like that small room. And if you ever went up there, it's tiny. I did, yeah. It's that's tiny. where I did my first class when I was like 12 or something. <laughs> yeah, it was very, very small. But I mean, like, it's crazy because, like, it's not even a nice house. Like, it's very old. My dad has lived there since he was eight years old. It's okay. So it's, it's very old, outdated. It hasn't been updated at all. Um, but, like, the land itself is still mm. worth so much. Like, you can feel like, okay, we're going to tear down the house. Right. But, like, just selling the land is it will make them like you know, a good amount of money. So mm -hmm. trying to see where they want to move next because they're trying to find a place like for all of us to live comfortably like together right. while I'm, you know, staying with them. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. My mom, they're doing the same thing. They're going to move to Delaware. Oh, really? Yeah, the taxes, the mm -hmm. house that they can get up there, it's ridiculous how affordable it is. Yeah. Here, I mean, they own their house, don't get me wrong. But, but they've been there forever and they need something different. Yeah. Yeah, just a, a rancher. Same level, no steps, no nothing crazy. Yeah, that's how mine is. It's so small. Mm -hmm. And it's hard because my sister's living at home right now, too. So it's like four adults, mm -hmm. three three dogs, mm -hmm. and it's just like no space for anyone. Oh, but it, it's actually okay yeah. to live with her. I moved with my parents when I sold my house. Yeah. Because I thought I was in love, and you know, hey, let me buy a house for this little girl, and we're gonna get married. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. stupid. Right. <laughs> yeah. So we lived together for about two years, but. You really start to see what somebody really is or 
if you can deal with them by living with them. Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> I made that mistake and moved in with a five boyfriend who called okay. me. Mm -hmm. We lived together for a year, mm -hmm. but you know, it didn't work out. But it's actually a really good thing, though, because it, it shaped, shapes your life. It's like, oh, okay, now I know. Yeah, I mean, I definitely learned the hard way, you know, <laughs> like, you know what not to do. Right. You know how to, like, um, be more cautious, I guess, move slowly. Mm -hmm. Not put yourself in situations where it makes it hard to leave someone, you know, like, exactly. you're financially tied to them, physically, you know. That person, yeah. and if it's a strain of relationship, even though you guys are making great money, some men don't like their woman making more than them, which is stupid. Yeah. Like, I want that. I mean, yes, that means we're doing well. Yeah. But to some men, it's like embarrassing. Like, uh, I did that, but like. Well, I, I don't. It's never going to be very soon for me. I'm going to praise the Lord. Yes, thank God. We can go, yeah. to, go to the beach every day now. No. I, I guess the thing I wouldn't want is it to like change the power dynamic yeah. because I personally like when the man's like in charge and like I want him to be wearing the pants in the relationship I don't mm -hmm. want to be like feeling like I'm the head of the household mm -hmm. it's even, like even if I am making more money I still want him to be like more dominant and you know take charge in the relationship yeah. and as long as you're happy about it yeah because some men don't know how to I guess not to negotiate your to the point where they'll do crazy shit. They'll be like, oh, you're going to divorce your wife because she's making... Yeah, it really, what's the word, like, emasculate for them? Yeah, exactly. Like, they really have a huge problem. Like, nothing... That's just an ego problem. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. Too many problems out here in the world. How many reality shows do we have that's all about arguing? And they have money, like, dude, I have money, money. Like, the money's <laughs> not, not even how many people are happy. Yeah, I know. It's like, what? It's like, such a lie. Yes. Like, everyone wants to be rich. Like, don't get me wrong, I want, like, my goal is to be rich. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, do I know that that's, like, I, I do know that that's not going to make me happy. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, and the money would never make anyone happy. It just, it's a tool, it helps yeah. a lot of things, but it shouldn't be. Money does not equal happiness, so it's like, hey, money is a medicine that's gonna give me happiness. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> you don't ingest it, you don't, it's not something holistic. Yeah. It can be, I guess, in the right spiritual aspect, if you're wise about it. Like if you have the right perspective on yes. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are that form like a healthy relationship with it. And it's not the root of all evil. It actually helps. It does a lot of things. For sure. It's just the person gets crazy. You get crazy. Yeah. Like, personally, for me, I'm Christian. Mm -hmm. And so, like, mm -hmm. in the Bible, like, God, like, Jesus, God talks about money. Mm -hmm. You know, like, there's, there's, there's nothing inherently evil or bad about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's meant to be, like, a good thing. It's just used and viewed in the wrong way where it becomes, like, an idol. And that's when there it becomes a problem. 